Mountains are areas of land that are much higher than land surrounding them. They are higher and usually steeper than a hill and are generally 600 meters high. They are often found together in a group called mountain range. What else do you know about mountains? Are you really familiar with the major mountain ranges in the world? How is it related to plate tectonics? How are, How are mountains formed? What causes the formation of mountain ranges? And what are the advantages of these mountains? These are the questions that we will going to answer through this video. Before we proceed, these are your learning targets for this session. First, define mountain ranges. Second, identify the different mountain ranges in the world. And last, explain the relationship of plate tectonics to the location of mountains. Before we move on, let's have a simple warm-up. Here, I will present some questions regarding the topic and I want you to just write down your answers in your notebook. And at the end of this video, I want you to have your own evaluation. The crust of the earth is not all at one piece. According to plate tectonics, the lithosphere is broken into huge plates that slide under, over, and pass each other resulting to mountain building, volcanism, earthquake, and other phenomena. Many of the world's mountains are formed through massive collisions of crustal slabs causing these slabs to fold and heave upward. Several factors such as rock weathering, erosion, as well as metamorphism, compressional forces, faulting, and volcanic activities also contribute to the formation of mountain structures. The process of mountain building is collectively called orogenesis. It comes from the Greek word oros means mountain and genesis means creation. A mountain range is made up of mountains that are close together and extend for hundreds or thousands of kilometers. Most mountains are found in Circum-Pacific Belt and Alpine Belt. The Circum-Pacific Mountain Belt extends to the North America Cordillera along the Pacific Coast, the Aleutian Range onto Kamchatka, Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, Papua New Guinea and to New Zealand. This includes Andes of South America which is 7,000 kilometers long and is considered as the world's largest mountain system. The Alpine mountain belt stretches from Indonesia through Himalayas and ends in the Alps. This also includes other European and Asian mountain ranges. The highest mountain range are found in the Himalayas including Mount Everest which is 8,848 meters high. Since you are now familiar with the major location of mountain ranges, let us now proceed on how mountain ranges are formed. The mountain building processes are triggered by geothermal heat generated by radioactive decay in the interior of the earth. There are three stages involved in the mountain formation. These stages are the accumulation of sediments, 
the orogenic period of rock deformation and crustal uplift. And the period of crustal uplift caused by isostatic rebound and black faulting. The accumulation of sediments. Mountain belts are composed of igneous rocks and sediments. These accumulated layers can reach up to several kilometers in thickness. Through weathering and erosion, particles are released from rocks and sediments are transported to the edge of the continental crust. Beyond the edge of the continents, these elements are lithified to produce limestones, sandstones, and shales that compose of continental shelves. Next is the orogenic period of rock deformation and crustal uplift. During the orogenic period, the accumulated sediments are deformed by compressional forces from the collision of tectonic plates. There are three types of tectonic convergence, arc continental, oceanic continental, and continental continental. The arc continental is observed when an island arc collides with the edge of the continental plate. Here, the ocean plate area between the arc and the continent is subducted into the asthenosphere and the sediments associated with the island arc adhere to the margin of the continent over time. In an oceanic continental convergence, the collision of ocean and continental plates allows the accretion of marine sedimentary deposits to the edge of the continent. Lastly, continental-continental convergence occurs when an ocean basin closes and two continental plates collide. The last stage of mountain building is the period of crustal uplift caused by isostatic rebound and black faulting. At this stage, Isostatic rebound is exhibited when a crust bends the lithosphere into the asthenosphere causing the lower layer to flow out of the way. The load or crust will then sink until it reaches its buoyancy point. If anything changes the load, isostatic rebound occurs and the crust rises back after a geological time. Through erosional forces, Surface materials from the mountains are removed, allowing the weight of the crust in this region to become progressively less. When the weight decreases, the continental crust makes an isostatic adjustment causing it to float higher in the mantle. This stage causes black faulting. Here, tensional forces exist in a horizontal direction and breaks the continental crust into pieces of smaller blocks. Each fault block moves vertically in different orientation and elevation to compensate for the tensional forces and eventually produces normal engraven faults. Now, since we already have knowledge on the mountain formation, let us know some of the world's mountain ranges and how they are related to plate tectonics. Himalayas, the highest and the youngest mountain range in the world. The name Himalaya comes from the Sanskrit language and means the house of snow or the snowy range. It is a home for the world's highest peaks including Mount Everest, which is located on the border between Tibet and Nepal with a peak of 8,848 meters above the sea level. Mount Everest was named by Sir Andrew Waff in 1865 in honor of his predecessor, Sir George Everest, who was the Surveyor General of India from 1830 to 1843. However, the locals have their own name for the giant mountain. The Tibetans and the Sherpas call it Shomulungma, which means Mother Goddess of the Earth. The Himalaya range forms a barrier which separates northern India from plateau of Tibet. Parts of the range are as much as 200 miles wide. The Himalaya range record an elevation of about 1,000 feet above sea level, giving greater heights over the plains of northern India. Because of the great difference in various parts of the range, almost every kind of climate can be found in Himalayas. Many peaks of Himalayas are regarded sacred in Hinduism and Buddhism. Andes Mountains, the longest mountain range in the world. 
The Andes Mountains stretch extend along the west coast of South America from Cape Horn of Panama a distance of 4,500 miles. This mountain divided into three sections, the Central Andes, Southern Andes, and Northern Andes. The Central Andes having the Chilean and Peruvian mountain systems and the parts of Bolivia, the Southern Andes in Argentina in Chile, the Northern Andes in Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela. Because of its length, this mountain range served as a barrier between the eastern Pacific Ocean and the rest of the South America. It is believed that the Andes is a Mesozoic tertiary orogenic belt of mountain along the Pacific Ring of Fire. They were created due to plate tectonic processes caused by the compression of the western rim of the South American plain. The Appalachians, the oldest mountain range in North America. This mountain range derives its name from the Apalaki, an Indian tribe inhabiting this region. The mountains from the eastern continental divide between the rivers that flow into the Atlantic Ocean and those that drain into the Gulf of Mexico. The Appalachians are the primary mountain system of the eastern North America. They are known to be 480 million years old. The Appalachian Mountains contain major deposits of coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Mount Mitchell in North Carolina is the highest peak of the Appalachians, standing about 6,684 feet. During its original orogenesis, the continents of the Earth were in different locations as what has been explained by plate tectonics. The Appalachians were once an extension of the Caledonian mountain chain, a chain that is located in Scotland in Scandinavia. Prior its period of erosion, the Appalachian mountains have reached elevations as high as those of the Alps and the Rocky Mountains. The Alps, the largest mountain system in Europe. The Alps extended from the southeastern France and northern Italy, most of Switzerland, part of southern Germany and some portion of Austria and Yugoslavia. The highest mountain in the Alps is Mont Blanc, at about 4,808 meters on the Italian-French border. The Alps were part of the orogenesis caused by the collision between the Eurasian and African plates that dates back in the late Cretaceous period. Crystals are found throughout much of the alpine region such as cinnabar, amethyst, and quartz. Rocky Mountains The major mountain range in western North America, commonly known as the Rockies. The Rocky Mountains are a group of jagged snow cape peaks which run through the western part of Northern America. This mountain range includes all uplands and mountains of New Mexico, British Columbia, and North Alberta in Canada, and United States of America. The mountains are also known for their minerals such as gold, silver, lead, copper, as well as coal, oil shale, and phosphate rock. The geysers of Yellowstone National Park and the huge lava sheets of Idaho are evident signs that volcanism took place along the Rockies. The highest peak is Mount Elbert which stands 4,401 meters. As the range extends north through Alaska, the peaks gradually become lower until they disappear in a series of ice-covered hills at the Arctic Circle. The Great Dividing Range It is known as the mountain range that forms a watershed. It is also called as the Eastern Highlands. The name Great Dividing Range was given because the mountain range forms a watershed. The crest of the range is defined by the watershed or boundary between drainage basin of rivers which drain directly eastward into the Pacific Ocean while those at west side flow toward the central lowlands 
up to the Gulf of Carpentaria. In southern New South Wales and eastern Victoria, the continent's tallest mountains can be found including Australia's highest peak, Mount Kosciuszko, which rises to a height of 2,230 km above sea level. The range rose during the Carboniferous period approximately 300 million years ago when Australia collided with what are now parts of South America in New Zealand. The mountains served as settlement for Australian Aboriginal tribes. Let us have a recap on the following major mountain ranges in the world. Can you give their title one by one? The generally accepted plate tectonic theory states that the surface crust of Earth is composed of large and small segments called plates. These plates have the ability to move horizontally by gliding over the asthenosphere. As the plates collide with each other at the plate boundaries, subduction occurs, resulting to the occurrence of volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and mountain buildings. Let us now have this information regarding the importance and advantages of mountains.